What's up guys? Poor Man Outdoors coming to you from the Ohio River. We're up here chasing some spoonbills today and uh, just a poor guy out outdoors <laughs> coming to you. I'm going to show you my setup, uh, how I do it, what I use, you know, basics, you know, whatever YouTube is going to tell you. But uh, what I use right here, you normally, four ounce, I like a bank sinker. These are just something I had tied on. Uh, prefer I prefer a 10 knot treble hook. Uh, state regulations are not allowed to have one on other states. I've seen two or three tied on, which blows my mind. But spin, uh, I've got an 11 foot heavy Shakespeare ugly stick spinning rod, a Daiwa open, open bail, uh, spin it set up, good reel. Got 65 pound, nope, sorry, 85 pound power pro braid on there uh i prefer braid i mean you can snag them with a heavier mono but if you try to snag with mono and then you try to snag with a rod that's got braid on it you just tell world the difference uh i have snagged with mono that's how i started snagging when i was first learning and uh you know you just out you just adapt and overcome but uh we're gonna see i'm gonna show you hopefully i can get one on film but if not it's just a small tutorial but how uh, I do it, so set the camera up and cast a few times and see if I can get y'all one on here. And uh, if not, then I'll start, I'll upload this video and, and uh, start recording some more. Um, when uh, I catch one, so you can catch one first cast, you can catch one of me casting it. It's just, uh, and uh, it's a lot of work, it'll make a man out of it. I threw half my spool line off. This, this reel holds exactly 150 yards. A little under 150 yards. 65 pound. Uh, just now hit the bottom. We're going to rip it through the water column. See what happens. Hip. If you're snagging up here, these rocks are crazy. Uh, I usually get about, I, I don't know, you know what I'm doing. I usually only jerk it about four or five times and I reel it in. But I'm trying to stay a little higher in the water column because the water temperatures are coming up and I think spoonbills are coming up also to feed. That's all you do when it comes to snagging these food bills. Uh, it's hard to make a snagging video because you're not guaranteed to hit one within five casts or five million casts. But we're going to try and uh, I'll be right back. Uh, we'll catch one. We usually always do. And uh, I'll get that on film for you guys. So until then, fish hard, hunt safe, hunt hard, be safe, enjoy the outside, get a kid out there, poor man outdoors out.